So good morning students uh, welcome to my next class in my first class of the tiger king i told uh, about the introduction and this is the second class where we will read the text and we will go for explanation so uh, here we are with the text i feel that uh, you are sitting with your text to understand it properly now let's start the tiger king by kolki i told kolki is the pen name of rameshwami uh, Ramaswami Krishnamurti was born in the year 1899 and died in the year 1954. Now, there is a question in pre reading. So, let me read the question What is the general attitude of human beings towards wild animals? I told that this you know, story is, is enriched with irony as well. So this is an ironical question also that uh, our narrator wants to find out the general attitude of human being towards uh, wild animals and what we will see, what is the general attitude of the tiger king towards a wild animal here, tiger. We will find it out whenever we will complete uh, the reading and explanation. So let's start the tiger king. The Maharaja of Pratibandapuram is the hero of this story. He may be identified as His Highness Jamedar General, Kelandar Major, Satabigraha Samhari, Maharaja Dhiraj Bisho Bhubana Samrat, Sarjulani Jang Jang Bahadur, M-A-D-A-C-T-C or C-R-C-K. But uh, this name is often shortened to the Tiger King. So in the very first paragraph of this story, our narrator told that here we are going to read about Tiger King and Tiger King uh, is having lots of names such as these are the names. So this might be uh, the question may come in exam also that uh, give the different names of Tiger King that these are the different names. But he was most popularly known as the Tiger King. All the name has been shortened as the Tiger King and he uh, is the king of Pratibandapuram. Now what happened? I have come forward to tell you why he come to be known as Tiger King. So yes, this is a great question. This is a question that comes to our mind as well, that how he was known as Tiger King. So our narrator is telling that he has come to tell us this story, that how he was known as the Tiger King. I have no intention of pretending to advance only to end in a strategic withdrawal. Our natural is telling that as I have told you that he has come to tell us why he was known as Tiger King. And here he is telling that in the midway after telling his story, he will not go back. He will not take his withdrawal from his story. Even the threat of a Stuka bomber will not throw me off track. So mark the word Stuka Bomber. Actually Stuka Bomber is the aircraft uh, uh, made by Germany and it was used in the Second World War. Uh, German aircraft and they used to use this Stuka Bomber for drop the bombs uh, uh, on different nations. So here our narrator is telling even the Stuka Bombers threatens him still he will not go back from his way that he is confirmed he, he is going to tell us that why Tiger King was known as Tiger King. The Stuka, if it likes, can beat a hasty retreat from my story. On the other hand, our natural is telling that he is not going to be afraid by the Stuka Bomber. On the other hand, the Stuka Bomber, the Stuka, he can go, uh, he can have a hasty retreat. Hasty means very quickly, Stuka may go out. Uh, go out from his way very quickly. So here our narrator is giving an introduction part, yet uh, he has not started the story. Right at the start, it is imperative to disclose a matter of vital importance about the Tiger King. Now again, our narrator is telling, just making the introduction so interesting that our narrator has not started the story yet. And he is telling that in the beginning, I want to tell you that why Tiger King, there is a very interesting aspect about Tiger King. So what is that interesting aspect? He wants to tell us at the very beginning, at the very outset of the story. Everyone who reads of him will experience the natural desire to meet a man of his indomitable courage face to face. Our natural is telling that whenever we will read about Tiger King that he was so great a person. He was a person with indomitable courage. He had, you know, indomitable uh, spirit. He was a brave person, robust person, uh, strongly he was very brave. And our natural is telling that whenever we will proceed in reading our text, we may feel or uh, we were there might be a desire in our mind that we should uh, meet with this man but there is no chance of his fulfillment it means that when our natural is telling the tiger king is died as varata 
said to Rama about Dasarath. The Tiger King has reached the final abbot of all living creatures. Here our narrator has taken an allusion from the great Ramayana. That here our narrator told that uh, after uh, about the death of Dasarath, Varat has told this, has informed to Rama about the death of Dasarath, that he has reached the final abbot of all living creatures. What does it mean? It means, in other words, the Tiger King is dead. So our natural in a roundabout way, our natural wants to tell that at present Tiger King is dead. The matter of his death is a matter of extraordinary interest. That, as I told from the very outset of this story, our natural is telling that this is a very interesting fact about uh, Tiger King there. And here, our narrator is telling that the matter of extraordinary interest it can be revealed only at the end of the tale. And actually, our narrator is keeping us in great, uh, you know, suspense that um, he is, he has told that there is a great interest about the death of Tiger King, but uh, he is not going to reveal it at the very beginning of the story. And for this, we will have to uh, keep our patience um, till the end of this tale. The most fantastic aspect of his demise was that as soon as he was born, the astrologers had foretold that one day, the Tiger King would actually have to die. What does it mean? The most fantastic aspect of his demise, here demise means death, perishes, that he perished. That at the very beginning, the astrologer told the Tiger King will have to die one day. Up to this, there is no such unusual thing because we know everybody will have to die. The child will grow up. This is the astrologer. How astrologer has told, foretold about the Tiger King. The child will grow up to become the warrior of warriors, hero of heroes, champion of champions. So far, actually when uh, the king, uh, the, the astrologers were called whenever uh, the prince was born and uh, just seeing that prince, uh, the astrologers was foretelling that he will be the champion of champions, uh, warrior of warriors, hero of heroes. But up to this, but after telling but, they stopped. They beat their lips and swallowed hard. Mm, they started to beat their lips and swallowed hard. That means uh, they, uh, it, it means that they started to hesitate to proceed further. When compelled to continue, the astrologer came out with it. Now, when compelled means forced, the astrologer were told that you just proceed with that uh, foretelling about uh, Tiger King. You told that Tiger King uh, would be uh, the champion of champions, warrior of warriors. But afterwards, they stopped. Then, uh, then they were told, they were ordered to tell, uh, to tell furthermore about the future of Tiger King. <clears throat> this is a secret. Now, the astrologer again continued. This is a secret which should not be revealed at all. And yet, we are forced to speak out. So the astrologer told, yes, we actually, we did not want to reveal it because this is a secret. But as we are forced to tell this, we are just telling, the child born under this star will one day have to meet its death. Now, the astrologer told that, yes, actually up to this, there is no unusability. Again, the astrologer told, yes, that Tiger King, this child will have to meet its death one day. At this very moment, a great miracle took place. Yes, a great miracle, an unprecedented incident had taken place. An astronomizing phrase emerged from the lips of the 10 day old Jilani Jang Jang Bahadur. This was the name that was given at the at the birth of the tiger king um, actually at, at the beginning at the birth when 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 the baby was born uh, he was given the name jilani jang jang bahadur so at that time jilani jang jang bahadur he just pronounced these what oh wise prophets that baby he addressed to these astrologers telling oh wise prophets wise means intelligence yeah, prophets means astrologers Everyone stood transfixed in stupefaction. Transfix means they they became still and stupefaction means utmost surprise. They were extremely surprised. They looked wildly at each other and blinked. They were just started to blink and you know watching each other because uh, as I told this is unprecedented. This is unheard. Oh wise prophets. It was I who spoke. Now again, the 10 days baby just made it clear 
that it is I who spoke. This time, there were no grounds for doubt. So all the doubts has gone. As This is unbelievable. It was the infant born just 10 days ago who had enunciated the words so clearly. Enunciated means pronounced. So the astrologer where why the astrologer was so much surprised because how it was possible a 10 days baby he just asked this question to the astrologer and uh, not asked question just he just uh, you know uh, uh, he just uh, uh, wanted to know he just addressed to the wise prophets now this time uh, that I told the chief astrologer took off his spectacles and gazed intently at the baby. The chief astrologer, he, he just took out his spectacles and he was looking very intently to, um, uh, to the 10 days baby. All those who are born will one day have to die. This has been stated by this 10 days baby. All those who are born will one day have to die. We don't need your predictions to know that. There would be some sense in it if you could tell us the manner of that death. So that is the question that the 10 days baby actually asks to the astrologer. That, oh prophets, there is no uh, surprise for this. We don't need any predictions because we know everybody will have to die. But could you tell me the manner of the death? The royal infant uttered these words in his little squeaky voice. Squeaky means very sicky. The little infant. Just mark the incident. This is unprecedented. This is unusual. Only 10 days baby. He just asked this. To tell what would be the manner of this death. The chief astrologer placed his finger on his nose in order. Something like this. How he placed his finger on his nose. A baby barely 10 days old opens its lips in speech. The astrologer also, they were surprised in their life also. They did not see, they did not see such incident. Not only that, it also raises intelligent questions. This 10 days baby, he is just asking intelligent questions. Incredible. This is unbelievable. Very tough to believe. Rather like the bulletins issued by the war office than facts. Here bulletin uh, by the war office, you know, that this is our naturalist telling this might be as surprising as sometimes when the, in the time of war, uh, the headlines comes about uh, the war and people become surprised uh, knowing the real fact of war. So these actually things become as surprising as uh, the bulletin, the headlines from wars. The chief astrologer took his finger off his nose and fixed his eyes upon the little prince. So he had taken his finger from his nose off his nose and he just looked intently, looked at that little prince. The prince was born in the hour of the bull. The bull and the tiger are enemies. Therefore, death comes from the tiger, he explained. So the astrologer foretold when the prince was only 10 uh, days old the astrologer told that as the king was born in the time of uh, under the stars of bull and as bull and tigers are enemies so death may come from the tiger you may think that uh, that crown prince Jung, Jung Bahadur was thrown into a squeak when he heard the word tiger, our natural is uh, telling that what is uh, actually our natural is telling to the readers that what would be your reaction that uh, he was telling to this uh, to the readers that you might think that uh, uh, listening the name of the tiger that uh, 10 days baby must be very much afraid or must be very much uh, you know scared of it. That was exactly what did not happen but uh, the boy was not scared at all. As soon as he heard it pronounced. The crown prince gave a deep growl. Growl means he just made a sound. That crown prince. Crown prince means next time he, he will be the king. Terrifying words emerged from his lips. Terrifying words came out from his lips. Let tigers be ours. Just imagine. Only 10 days baby. As if he is threatening to the tigers. Telling this. Let tigers be ours. This account is only a rumor riff in Pratibandapuram. So this news has spread all over the Pratibandapuram. But with 
hindsight we may conclude it was based on some truth but our narrator is giving you know a slight uh, you know indication that what would happen at the end of the story our narrator told that we may conclude it was based on some truth so might be there might be some truth um, under this foretelling so this is the part one of this uh, tiger king now come to the part two Crown Prince Jang Jang Bahadur grew taller and stronger day by day. Now after this, uh, the king, the prince started to grow up. No other miracle marked his childhood days apart from the event already described. And up to this, as, 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 as when he was just 10 days baby, he just uh, pronounced, he just asked this question to the astrologer. Afterwards, no such incident had happened in his life and he just continued to grow up and he became very strong. The boy drank the milk of an English cow, was brought up by an English nanny, tutored in English by an Englishman, saw nothing but English flames, exactly as the crown princess of all the other Indian states did. Here, this is the examples of irony. I told that uh, we will find uh, various examples of irony in that interweaving in this, uh, in, in this story. Here it is stated that the, the boy, he started to grow up just drinking the milk of English car, was brought up by an English uh, tutor, English nanny, uh, tutored by an English, uh, by an English man, he used to watch English film, uh, like all the, you know, native, uh, like all the princes of the native king used to do. Actually, uh, this is true, that every time they used to do this, the native king always, they helped the um, British and they always tried to follow the footsteps of the British. When he came of age at 20, the state which had been with the court of words until then came into his hand. So when he was 20 years old, he became the king of Pratibandapuram. But everyone in the kingdom remembered the astrologer's prediction. Everywhere. They all remembered. All the people. They, they knew what the astrologer has predicted about this tiger king. Many continued to discuss the matter. Slowly it came to the Maharaja's ears. And the Maharaja came to know about this. He is the king now. There were innumerable forests in the Pratibandapuram states. Innumerable means many. Nonetheless, lots of, lots of forests were there in Pratibandapuram. They had tigers in them and the forest, the forest were filled with tigers. The Maharaja knew the old saying, you may kill even a cow in self-defense. We know cow uh, for the Hindus, uh, actually uh, it's the incarnation of God. Uh, Hindus people worship cows. So here our uh, tiger king heard this proverb that even for your self-defense, even you can kill a cow. There, uh, there could certainly be no objection to killing tigers in self-defense. And uh, killing tigers in, for your self-defense, there would be no problem at all. The Maharaja started out on a tiger hunt. Now Maharaja started his tiger killing expedition. The Maharaja was thrilled beyond measures when he killed the first tiger and uh, the Maharaja as the, uh, as the tiger, uh, as the astrologer told, he will be the warrior of warriors, champion of champions. So Maharaja killed the first tiger and he was very much uh, excited. He sent for the straight astrologer and showed him the dead beast. What do you say now? He demanded. So as soon as he just killed the tiger, he called the astrologer and showed it to the astrologer. What is it? Your Majesty may kill 99 tigers in exactly the same manner, but the astrologer drawled. Drawled means he had just, um, he just stopped here, hesitated again. And the astrologer told, yes, in the same manner, you will be able to kill 199 tigers. But what? Speak without fear. The tiger king told the astrologer, you speak out, but you must be very careful with the 100 tiger. But he told uh, the astrologer, um, but the astrologer told to the king, you must be very aware of this hunter tiger. What if the hunter tiger were also killed? Again, uh, the, the king challenged the astrologer, if, would, if I could kill the hunter tiger, what would happen then? Then I will tear up all my books on astrology, set fire to them, and, and I shall cut up my turf, corp my hair sort, and become an insurance agent. The astrologer finished on an incoherent note. Question may come, that how... The astrologer had taken this uh, challenge of the king. The astrologer told that if the tiger king could kill 100 tigers, then he would set fire on the astrology books. He would cut his turf and he would be an insurance agent. Up to this, we will meet in my next class.